Watercolour paint is probably one of the loveliest things that humanity has ever created for itself because it is like immersing yourself inside colour. You can float along with it. It responds to you. It responds to the paper. It responds to the water. It has its own mind. It's very, very useful. It's very, very versatile. So that makes it a wonderful medium to entice people into creating more art, which I believe is very, very good for you. Watercolour comes in several different forms. You can have it in a pencil, you can have it in a crayon, you can have it in little pans, little patches of colour, and the most traditional way is as tubes of colour. And with the new watercolour libraries, these are tubes of watercolour that you can then put into any type of pan that you like. You can use it straight from the tube. You can make inks out of it and sprays out of it. So it brings even more versatility to a medium that's already so versatile. Look at these colours. Aren't these gorgeous? And because of the nature of the medium, the colours love to intermingle and mix together. Sometimes that causes different effects, granulation or might be, create very smooth blends. And this is all part of the learning curve and part of the joy of watercolour is not just that you could use it to create something that's in your imagination or something that you want to capture. It's the actual joy of using it, the process itself. So creating a set of watercolour tubes has been something that I've been wanting to do and that I've been working on for quite some time. These are excellent quality paints, professional quality paints. We've got single pigments, we have mixes and things that are called a convenience mix, which are sometimes the most useful colours of them all. So these 24 colours, there's 12 in each set so that you can collect them over time, house the most vivid brights. They also house beautiful colours for mixing. Mixing colours isn't just mixing red, blue and yellow. There's two colour spectrums that we need. We need a cool set of mixing colours and a warm set of mixing colours and you will always find that as in as part of any art supply collection that I create because with those six colors you can and then black and white you can then create just about anything that you want but then there are some special colors in here that you can't mix like pride and prejudice which is our super vivid opera rose and on the boxes of each of the color library you've got a description of the color as well as the name that I've given it which I just find is easier to remember permanence and pigment index and a light fastness recommendation and the sets have got one set has a bit more of a warmer tone has a few more of the flesh colors but still has vivid colors in it also that's the by the fireside set and the by the seaside set has more of your cooler tones vivids and deeps as well and then when you combine them well you've got this gorgeous spectrum of colors with everything that you need and you can mix the rest one of the fabulous things about tube watercolor is that you can make so many other things with it and here i am making a deep well palette this is using our window pane clear palette that comes with a little mixing tray on top and I can just swatch the colours straight away. I don't need to let them set, but it, because this is quite a lot of paint in each one of these, it's a deep well set, um, it'll take, I, I could leave two days for this to set hard enough so that I can then travel with it and it's not going to move around too much. But I'll show you some of the other palettes that I've made with the colour libraries in a minute. First of all, I just want to show you the gorgeous colour, the deep release. It's very fulsome. It's very generous pigment load in the colours. That doesn't necessarily mean a colour is better than something else it, because it depends on how you use it. So I'm activating the colour so that you can really see its full impact. But always, always remember, it's watercolour. Add more water, you're going to dilute the colour dramatically. 
And because you've got that high pigment load, you get more range of dilution. And I personally don't like describing art supplies in terms of beginner or advanced because that always just feels a little bit gatekeepy to me. And everyone's free to try any art supply they like. But watercolour does have a little bit of a reputation as being something that you need to be a bit more experienced to learn how to handle. But don't let that put you off watercolour for less than one second. Because you love doing art, you love colour. And gaining that experience with watercolour is pure joy. Sure, everything might not work out exactly as you were expecting or as you may have hoped initially. But it's going to still be fun and you're still going to be learning. Now, all of the colours that you can see me swatching out here, I've put it in rainbow formation, the two sets. And the reason they're called by the fireside and by the seaside is these are two places that you might read wonderful books. And all of the colour names are inspired by amazing books. Some are beloved childhood classics, others are profound, deep and heavy books, but and that is reflected in the colour that I've chosen to represent them. But there are colours such as our gorgeous greens, we have Wind in the Willows and Secret Garden and Anne of Green Gables. There's 20,000 Leagues, The Odyssey, 80 Days. These describe our blue and turquoise colour ranges. Gone with the Wind is that ugh, the most divine deep purple. Oliver Twist, uh, Pride and Prejudice, Little Women, Wuthering Heights, Pygmalion. These are our pinks and our purples. The Scarlet Letter, of course, is red. It's the most intense, warm red. Oh, it's just beautiful. Great Gatsby is probably the nicest orange watercolour I've ever seen in my life. We've got Time Machine, Great Expectations, Treasure Island. There's a broad spectrum of inspiration here because this is a broad spectrum of gorgeous colours. And because the colours are in tubes, you can do as I did with the Deep Well palette. You can add them into any shaped palette that you like and mix and match them with whatever other paints you have as well. I've got a nice collection of vintage paint boxes that I've collected over time. I love adding a magnet to a pan and then assorting them into these cute little vintage tins. But the most useful palette I find is my Pantastic palette, which has these mermaid scale shaped pans. It's got a magnetic tray underneath. And because it's just got that broader pan shape that is in the shape of a brush swiping, I just find it very, very useful. And because they're flat and they open like a book, I can store quite a lot of these right in front of me on my art table. I also love a little travel a mini pan. This is our little art time swatch set. It's got room for all of the colours. Perfect for making art on the go or if you've got a small space where you create art. So as a summary, you've got 24 colours over the two different sets. The colours are fulsome, high pigment, beautiful release of colour and as you can see here, very, very buildable. The lots of information about each of the colors on each of the boxes and you've also got this lovely little swatch card that is on watercolor paper that you can color in and use as you're swatching with the names of the colors as well and the colors themselves have gone through a rigorous process of selection and of working through them uh, that I've done to really create a balanced set that gives you as much versatility as possible with mixing colors and mixes and combinations of colors that are just going to prove as useful as possible for as many different subjects as possible. So it's the combination of the colors that are in these sets with their properties that just make them so versatile and beautiful to use in all sorts of different ways for painting all sorts of different subjects and I've got lots of live videos here on YouTube and also on my Facebook page and my Facebook group where I can show you uh, 
all of the different ways that I like to use the watercolour library. It just dries so matte and smooth with just such beautiful coloration. Fabulous for using with all sorts of other media. Coloured pencils, great with watercolour pencils, all sorts of pastels, whatever you want. And the effect is always different too on different papers. So much to explore. But one of the fabulous things about the watercolour library is the other things you can do with it. You can turn them into ink and make your own mermaid markers. This is where we add just water with the watercolour to make that ink and then place it inside one of my water brushes. And you've now got a marker of these gorgeous colours as well that's fabulous for drawing, for adding mark making, but also for uh, lettering if you're into that. And one of my absolute favourite techniques, especially for creating beautiful backgrounds, but really just as a creative pastime, <laughs> is to create that watercolour ink and put it into one of my mister bottles and then spray through stencils and laces and create lovely intricate backgrounds where the colours can mix and move because that's what watercolour loves to do. So all you need to do is have that little spray bottle or a bottle that you can mix your colour up into. Put a little squirt of it. Just You can try with a smaller amount first because you can always add more. You don't want to waste anything. And then add some water. I use distilled water because it has the chemicals uh, taken out of it. But you could use boiled tap water. Wait for it to cool down. Just add your water in there. A mixing ball helps greatly. Uh, my svelte sprayers that we have on my website have the little mixing ball in them automatically now because it is just so helpful to have it in there. And then just shake it up, mix it. Uh, then I usually make a little bit too much so that I can then add it into my water brush. And then I've got my marker and I've got my sprayer. So I've got two new tools to play with. You can and then you can try using them with dip pens. You can try it in a fountain pen. I wouldn't put it in your super fancy fountain pen first, but I've put them in fountain pens. And just keep trying, like other art receptacles, other art tools that you can play with and use. Just makes them extra fun. But I love spraying with the Colour Library colours. Like I said before, I've put a huge amount of effort into the actual colours themselves so that they really play beautifully together and you can get some extraordinary, uplifting, bright results. I love to put the Trust the Mess sheets, which just help protect my background surface or whatever else and also the rest of the journal if I'm working in a journal and then with any overspray I can then wipe that across the page as well and use that somewhere too so nothing gets wasted I don't like to waste watercolors and I love working on different types of papers as well here I'm using the window pane journal which has a vellum in it it's a translucent paper that buckles when you get water on it but it buckles in the loveliest way and the paper crinkles as you're turning it it's just a sensory experience and I so often use my art time as rebalancing time for a hectic life and it's not just for the sake of the art it's also for myself the sake of my own self that I'm playing with color so sometimes coming and just doing swatches is exactly what I need to do and then at some other point even these swatches can become the background or have a beautiful quote put through with them or some other thoughts or some journaling some other writing I could even just use it as a to-do list or plan something out the choices are endless the watercolour library is exclusive to janedavenport.com and you can collect each set separately or you can get them together in a bundle. And while you're there, you may as well have a look at the watercolour journals. All of the papers in all of my journals are watercolour friendly. They, they might not be a watercolour paper, but they're still going to love watercolour and create gorgeous effects for you. And we have amazing brushes. I only use my own art supplies and I do a lot of art. And uh, I don't want to use art supplies that aren't completely knocking my socks off. I only want to have art supplies in my collection that make me want a fainting couch. 
it went looking at these on screen, I want to go and paint with them right now because I know how amazing they are. 